Finding the ship builders and ship repair workers of tomorrow is a major challenge for the Hampton Roads maritime industry. Yeah, there are thousands of workers short now and things are expected to get worse in the near future. But a major new infusion of federal money could be a game changer. Mike Gooding has details. The Navy's 293 deployable warships need to be constantly maintained to be ready to fight. But there simply aren't enough people in the workforce of today. The Hampton Roads Workforce Council has said that there are 10,000 openings locally right now, and that number could climb to 40,000 by 2030. We're the biggest maritime industry in the country. So where are we going to recruit those folks from? Where are we going to uh, train them from or develop them from? And how are we going to retain them? are all questions that really the maritime industry in general is trying to answer. Fortunately, some help is on the way. Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine announced last week that Old Dominion University's Virginia Digital Maritime Center is receiving more than $640,000 in fiscal year 2023 congressionally directed spending funds from the Department of Labor. VDMC Senior Program Manager for Maritime Trades John Snell says the new federal dollars will allow ODU to improve the alignment of training and certification requirements, leading to more more career opportunities for people already in or entering the maritime industry. Um, I'm very optimistic. I, I really am. And I truly believe in what our capabilities are in encouraging folks to come into the trades. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. A government accountability office report last May found the Navy's ship maintenance backlog had grown to $1.8 billion. An earlier GAO report in February of last year found 10 different classes of Navy ships are experiencing, quote, persistent and worsening sustainment challenges.